Take off. Automatic leveling. No, I want that thing. Let's go. Kill both of them in one foul sweep. What was that all about? Hey folks, welcome back to War Thunder. So this is a Viper focused video as you'll probably have gathered from the thumbnail. Pretty highly anticipated aircraft of course, but my major draw for this patch was actually the visual effect changes for air battles. Things like gun hit damage, the flame effects, they've added like scorch marks to aircraft when they get hit and they catch fire. They also added radar gun sights, so all pretty cool sounding shit that was pretty high to give a go. I've heard a lot about the Viper in the time that I've been away, uh, mainly to do with Gaijin's way of handling its fly-by-wire system, effectively giving it a G-limiter rather than actually implementing it, an actual fly-by-wire system. So I did a few bits of testing and test drive. Uh, my findings are that it has much better nose authority without stability modes on. It turns best between 250 and 350 knots and it will go ballistic above 360 if you aren't fully pulling back on the stick and it will go ballistic above about 430-ish knots even if you are going full back on the stick. So that's to say that with full throttle you will gain speed through manoeuvres. Nose authority is non-existent above 450 knots so cruise speeds should be around 0.8 Mach or below. At those speeds it can accelerate through a turn anyway but without the turn being terrible. Without burner it will bleed speed as you increase the turn rate to help defeat missiles at closer ranges. So flying faster is pointless unless it's to aid missile kinematics or to purposely burn off fuel that you don't need to reduce weight for when you reach the merge. With this in mind it is very rarely necessary to use the fuel bag because at 70% throttle you can easily maintain 0.8 mat and it uses barely any fuel at all so unless you need to get somewhere quickly without affecting your lawyer time once you get there don't bother bringing the fuel tank for any engagement you'd be best committing with less than 20 minutes of fuel to aid acceleration recovery after maneuvers so factor fuel use into your transit time and the urgency of getting there if you've just been shot down and you want to get back to your wingman really quickly whack a fuel bag on otherwise you don't need it. Fuel should only be needed for sustained high speeds and fights. Loitering and transit flights without urgency can be done at as low as 50% throttle retaining ample speed for surprise attacks but massively increasing your flight time without the needless weight of maximum fuel. Sustained turn speeds are hard to gauge due to the blackout mechanics but to keep a turn going for more than one full rotation you need to either keep it below 6 Gs or continually adjust both pitch and throttle to bleed speed on full backstick segments then easing off the speed and stick to prevent G-lock from happening. It seems to make maintain a turn without risk of G-lock best at sub 330 knots just by way of G's being lower at lower speeds. This flight regime seems to work equally well regardless of being spared or not. The G-suit and boosters don't actually seem to make any meaningful difference at all below 0.8 Mach, so based on my flying style and experience I would prioritise the performance and weapon mods over the G-aiding ones. But that's enough waffle, let's get into the gameplay footage. I'm gonna lose lock soon because he's gonna notch it and I'm being locked from behind. It's probably by a friendly though. Gonna drop the lock so he stops freaking out. And we'll go Fox 2 from here. Might not reach. Please work missiles. Please fucking work missiles. Fox 2. I'm not sure where he actually went. We merged. We're pretty fast, I'm gonna come off the burner. 
I'm gonna go to a uh, vertical scan. I'm gonna dodge his nose. Oh, friendly save. Well, I don't know if we needed saving, I probably would have killed him, but uh, meh. Helps help. There are people in the A point, however. Which is down here. Why am I being walked from behind? I'm tremendously fast, I'm not going to be too worried. I see a guy on my nose here. It's probably him. Fox. One. Did he just dodge that? What is that? Shit. I lost the original guy now. There he is. On him. Got him. Nice. Now I just have to not wreck ourselves trying to fight this dude. Need more speed. Missiles, fucking help me out here. Okay, good. Fox two. Get rid of the missile, lock, the radar lock. Try again. Wait, we're then um, men range for the sparrows. We are getting closer to him though. Fuck. At least we can see him conning, so that's good. So we need speed. Please don't ruin this for me, Mr. Sparrow. Keep going. Safety flares. What the fuck was that? Didn't even try.
so I know for a fact that that's hostile. And so is that. So I was a little bit late to save my friendly, unfortunately. That was good. What is going on? That looks like a MiG-23. Just too many of them. And that fire effect that I was so excited about is bugged to fuck. Focus one. All the way off the throttle, I want to slow way down. For fuck's sake, I had a feeling that would happen. Missile regained lock, no it didn't. Cue the AM9Ls. Fox 2. He's distracted by the other guys, who probably won't see this. That's a MiG-23. Our missile connectors. MiG-23, I oh know. MiG-23 is still okay. Fox 2. Went straight for flares. Fox 1. Oh, you, what the fuck was that? I'll try it, I'm pretty sure he's gonna s see it coming. Got him anyway, nice. Safety flares. God, I literally heard it coming as well. So they are coming hot. Pretty ambitious shot, but I'm hoping the motor will have burnt out by the time it breaches the clouds and he'll not have enough time to react. Think it missed. Fox 2. Nice, didn't see it.
Nice, that went well. I think he lost his on me. I'll go back to regular scan. Somehow didn't see that. Oh shit, not good. This is not good. Ah, oh, this is not good. Stay fast. Again, the fucker. My god, my fucking sidewinder locked onto his missile. Am I missile even? Fuck's sake. Right. Ah, uh, breaks. You want to be able to turn. He is a hostile. We have him locked. We're going to go up. Offset the two circle, made him reverse the turn. Means he's gonna be slow. He's very slow. I don't wanna block out, this is. He, what is he doing? He's really made a meal of this. Oh no, he's gonna get me maneuver kill, no! Fuck. 